In Hangyang, people consider braised pork to be the most important dish. But they also have a recipe to please those who prefer not to eat meat. At Hung Mountain, the proper rituals include the right foods. This is Hung Young's vegetarian's delight. It's a big day for Jung Dai Yun as she celebrates her 60th birthday. An 11 course banquet is held by her family and friends. When the sixth dish, braised pork, is served, a toast is offered by the host. In Hung Yang, it's traditional for the main course of any birthday or wedding banquet to be braised pork. It represents the best wishes of the people for happiness, longevity, and the well-being of their beloved ones. The braised pork in this restaurant has a big secret. Judging only by its appearance, few would guess the authentic looking dish of meat is actually a vegetarian dish. It has the name Incredible. You might not believe this until you have tasted it. One of the five famous mountains in China, Mount Hung, is often associated with longevity. Hongyang is the second largest city in Hunan province. People say eating a lot of vegetables leads to a longer life. In ancient times, agricultural societies relied on a vegetarian diet. Historical records indicate Hung Young's vegetarian dishes flourished over a thousand years ago. It's a big business today. All the vegetarian dishes have unique names. The steaming sweet and sour pork is made of pineapples and tofu. The locals named it after a Buddhist text. There was also vegetarian seafood. What appears to be a sea cucumber dish is actually elephant yam. Sausages made from lotus roots are called one finger zen and are hardly distinguishable from the real ones. It's a vegetarian feast with irresistible flavors and tastes. For the vegetarian version of braised pork, there's a popular local saying, winter melon sold as braised pork. As the main ingredient for incredible pork, only select winter melons are used. <laughs> Chef Gao Fum has been doing this for 17 years. He likes to pick those fully grown winter melons, which have a softer texture. Once the right one is chosen, Chef Gao is ready to reveal the trick. The first step is to slice it like real pork. Its own skin removed, an imitation pork-like skin is made using the knife. Yeah, <笑> Oh. 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 Oh.
，现在我，你看，我们有椅子，哎、哦，看得到这个花纹，呃、对，你看，均匀椅椅子嘛，你这个打工切得太深了。那这个还能用吗？不能用了，这个做不了了。The shape is right, and it's now time to work on the color and taste. Other ingredients include preserved vegetables, mushrooms, and fermented soybeans. For the color, winter melon is marinated in soy sauce for a few minutes before frying. Once the color becomes golden brown, it can be removed from the pan. Now the winter melon has acquired the appearance of pork fat. Winter melon slices, five centimeters thick, are placed in a plate and colored again. Preserved vegetables and mushrooms are added. After 15 minutes of steaming, the dish is emptied onto another plate. The last step is to pour on a starch sauce to thicken it. Like a magician, the chef has turned winter melons into braised pork. An incredible dish indeed. Hong Yang's vegetarian dishes are rooted in Buddhist culture. Ever since its arrival in the fifth century, Buddhism has been attracting pilgrims and tourists to Hong Yang. A popular local temple in Hong Yang is dedicated to the fire god, Ju Rong. Chinese mythology says he lived at Hong Mountain and passed on fire so people could cook. The mountain has become a place for those seeking health and longevity. The vegetarian dishes prepared in Buddhist temples are equally impressive. The preparation is simple, and the food is enjoyed after reciting sacred texts. No waste is allowed. Pilgrims say the best food can be found in the biggest temple here. At the Fu Yen Temple, Abbot Da Yua is proud of their kitchen and garden. Uh, 这个山上呢，有七七温呢，早晚温差比较大，那个找那个虫子呢还是比较少。我们用的都是有机肥料，我们那个把那个蝙蝠石啊、粪啊放在这个菜地里面，这个菜呀长得绿油油的。我们山上
融合在了一块儿，那我就不用担心发胖了。这个是，那是不会胖的，绝对减肥。There is another locally famous dish on the table. Feeling a little poorly? Perhaps you should try some soup of longevity. There are 17 ingredients needed to make what seems to be a simple bowl of soup. This is Hang Yang's vegetarian's delight. Today is market day. Early in the morning, Chef Gao buys the ingredients he needs. Gan Oderma mushrooms is the most important part of the longevity soup. It's often called the immortal plant and was used as medicine thousands of years ago. Many species of Gan Oderma mushrooms are available in the market. Longevity soup also needs 16 other ingredients. To ensure quality, Jeff Gao is very selective. Wolf berries and golden needle mushrooms are a must. It takes more than 12 hours to prepare the broth. Gan Oderma mushrooms are chopped before going into the broth. It's a big challenge to chop the mushroom so finely. It requires experience and skill. Once the broth is ready, it's put into a blender with cooked corn kernels. The soup is then filtered and heated again for better taste. Wolfberries and fish are added to complete the soup. Chef Gao explains why fish is added to a vegetarian soup. A fish fillet made out of tofu sounds like another version of incredible pork. Gao shows how it's made. Then Mm. 
除了水，嗯、也有这个层次啊，更分明。一个这个亮度啊、嗯，感觉到就是像活的那个鲜鱼片一样。The fish fillet should be boiled only for one minute. 带点，哎，带点这个。嗯，是挺像鱼片的啊。啊、哦。这个还有这个纹理在里面。哎，是的，哎。嗯、哦。这个看起来更比那个，比这种效果好看多了，是吧？嗯嗯。这个还是搓了水以后啊，然后这个就可以食用了。The vegetarian fish fillet looks and tastes like the real thing. 加了素鱼粉，有个鱼腥味，嗯、啊，加了。哦嗯，确实有点淡淡的那种鱼腥味。The longevity soup is associated with a religious deity called Ma Gu, an immortal in Taoist legends. She represented longevity for women. 马姑是我们南岳魏夫人的侍女，魏夫人是道教史上的。第一位出家的女道士，是上清派的创始人。她在南岳修行，一直到八十三岁。她羽化，嗯，她的侍女就是传说中的马古，一直跟着她在南岳这里修行，嗯，开菜圃、种林子，嗯，然后吃林子。所以，魏夫人和马古。呃，都是寿命很长，而且，像魏夫人到了八十三岁的时候，还像一个十多岁的少女一样的。至于马姑多大年纪呢？传说就是，她曾经看到沧海变成桑田，就说明她也是很长的寿命。因此后来后人就用马姑姓寿啊，祝贺老人的寿命啊，祝贺人家的长寿。Everyone loves chips at a party, but in Hongyang, they will be freshly made sweet potato chips. And what will you find in a nine-squared snack box? This is Hongyang's vegetarian's delight. Vegetarian food is popular around Hongyang. In rural areas, villagers like to make special food, including something every family makes for Chinese New Year. The family of Fung Chun Mei is busy making sweet potato chips. As usual, the neighbors come to help. Everyone grows sweet potatoes. Washed and peeled sweet potatoes are steamed for over an hour. They are then mashed. The traditional way of making sweet potato chips involves technique and skill. The mashed sweet potato is spread evenly over a layer of wet gauze on a wooden board. It's a 然后直接可以揭开吗？直接可以揭开。我看看啊，就是，轻轻啊，哎，轻轻的，哎，轻轻啊，就是在往这里揭，不用回答。哎，好了。The sweet potato sheets are dried in the sun. A layer of pine needles prevents stickiness. The sheets are then cut into small rectangular pieces.
The sweet potato chips are fried until golden brown. To make them tastier, sesame seeds are often added. On New Year's Eve, every household will display treats in specially made wooden boxes. They have nine squares and are passed down from generation to generation. They contain a special message. Oh, this is your nine square, right? Yes. What kind of sesame seeds are you doing? Oh, this is this kind. This kind. Oh, this kind. Yes. Oh. Hey, give us that one. Yes. 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 我们这讲价，是因为客人来了，是最珍贵的，我们就把它这个好的就把这中间，嗯，最好的，哦，最好的摆在中间，这是我们自己做的这个头场，就把这中间，这是诚心诚意的大客人的。那怎么叫九宫格呢？这个九宫格啊，就是意思的话呢，就是大年初一，客人到我们这里来做客啊，这个春节的时期，啊，就。意思叫说他是九九发财，九九发财，对，九九发财，<笑>啊，老年人的话呢就九九长寿。An increasing number of people see the health benefits of a vegetarian diet. At the mountain, there's a little village called Longevity Village, and there's a story behind that name. 延寿村的来历就是由于这里有个亭子叫延寿亭，就这个亭子。清朝晚年的时候，呃，江西有一位盐商，这个盐商叫做杨尔成，多次来到我们南岳，在这里避暑啊啊啊求寿，啊，来了十多次啊，每来一次以后，他的身体就越来越好了啊。于是为了纪念他这个活动啊，所以在这里。呃，建了一个延寿亭，把传说他活到了一百零三岁，啊，现在就是延寿村的老百姓，呃，像他一样的啊，也喜欢吃素，所以这个村子里面现在，啊，长寿的也很多。The、benefits of a vegetarian diet are evident. Su Mei Ling, the wife of Chiang Kai-shek, loved vegetarian dishes when the couple lived in Hangyang. She promoted the Chinese vegetarian diet on her trip to the U.S. in 1943. For hundreds of years, Hong Yang has been offering delightful vegetarian dishes to pilgrims and visitors. From incredible braised pork to longevity soup to sweet potato chips, they are not just delicious, but very healthy and offering the best wishes for good fortune and a long life.